Before we graph the tangent function, let's take a look at the unit circle. We know that by definition, tangent of an angle theta equals y divided by x. So to find the value of tangent at each of the given points on the unit circle, we need to divide the y-coordinate by the x-coordinate. For example, at 0, 0 divided by 1 is 0. So tangent of 0 is 0 divided by 1, which is 0. Now let's pick another angle, for example, pi over 4. This one will be easy to evaluate because square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2 is 1. So we can write that tangent of pi over 4 equals square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2 and this equals 1. Now let's pick one more angle, for example pi over 2. At this angle 1 divided by 0 is undefined. Then we will write that tangent of pi over 2 is undefined. Now here to the right I will draw the rectangular coordinate system and I will start the graph for the tangent function. Now on the x-axis to the right of the origin I will plot 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi and so on. Here we have them. Then to the left of the origin we will have negative pi over 4, negative pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 4 and negative pi. Now let's see the behavior of the tangent function from 0 to pi over 2. We know that at 0 the value of the tangent is 0 and this means that the tangent function crosses the origin. At pi over 4 the value of the tangent is 1. Then we will plot this point as well. Then at pi over 2 the tangent is undefined and this means that at this value we will have a vertical asymptote. So as x approaches pi over 2 the function will approach infinity. So from 0 to pi over 2 this is how the graph will look like. As we get closer to pi over 2, the function goes to positive infinity. We can even do a quick check by evaluating the tangent at a number that is very close to pi over 2. And for simplicity, because pi over 2 is the same as 90 degrees, we can evaluate the tangent at, let's say, 89.9 .9 degrees. And if we use a calculator, then we will see that the value of tangent will be approximately 573. Now, let's talk about the behavior of the tangent function to the left of the origin. On the unit circle, if from 0 we move clockwise, we will have negative angles. Right here we will have negative pi over 4, and to evaluate tangent, we will divide negative square root of 2 over 2 by positive square root of 2 over 2 which will be equal to negative 1. So let's write that tangent of negative pi over 4 equals negative square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2 and this equals to negative 1. Now down here, if we move into a clockwise direction, we will have the angle of negative pi over 2. And to find the tangent, if we divide negative 1 by 0, the tangent again will be undefined. So tangent of negative pi over 2 is undefined. Now on the graph, first I will plot the point negative pi over 4 and negative 1 and at negative pi over 2 we will have another vertical asymptote. Then the graph between negative pi over 2 and 0 will have this shape. So as we get closer to negative pi over 2 the function approaches negative infinity. Now what we have here is the graph of the tangent function 
over one period and because the distance from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 is pi, the period of the tangent function is pi. Then to the right and to the left of these vertical asymptotes, this graph will repeat itself. To the right we will have more vertical asymptotes at 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2 and so on and to the left the next asymptote will be at negative 3 pi over 2 and then negative pi over 2 and so on. Then this graph that represents the tangent function will continue to the left and to the right indefinitely. I will complete this graph over a few more periods and then we will talk about the properties. So here we have the graph over three periods and this one was the original one and now we have the graph over one more period to the left and another period to the right. Now let's talk about the properties or the characteristics of this graph. The first one is the period of the tangent function is pi. This also means that the tangent of a real number n plus pi is the same as the tangent of this number n. For example, we know that tangent of pi over 4 is 1. Now, if we take pi over 4 and we add pi, we will get 5 pi over 4 and at this value tangent is also 1. The next property will be about the domain of this function. The domain is all real numbers except odd multiples of pi over 2. This means that we have a graph everywhere except at the points where we have vertical asymptotes. These points are odd multiples of pi over 2. For example, to get 3 pi over 2, we take pi over 2 and we multiply it by 3. The next vertical asymptote would be 5 pi over 2 and we get it by multiplying pi over 2 by 5. The range of the tangent function is all real numbers, or all the numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. This means that the graph stretches vertically from negative infinity to positive infinity. Next, the tangent function has vertical asymptotes and they occur at odd multiples of pi over 2 and the graph has an infinite amount of vertical asymptotes. However, notice that this graph does not have any horizontal asymptotes. Next, we will talk about the x-intercepts. They occur at midpoints between two consecutive asymptotes. So, if we take two consecutive asymptotes, then the x-intercept is right in the middle between these two points. We can also say that the x-intercepts occur at k multiplied by pi, where k is an integer. This means that the x-intercepts occur at pi or 2 pi or 3 pi or 0 or negative pi or negative 2 pi and so on. Another important information here is that if from the x-intercept we go halfway to the right between the x-intercept and the asymptote, then at this point the value of the tangent will be positive 1, but if we go halfway to the left between the x-intercept and the asymptote, then at this point the tangent will be negative 1. So again, from the x-intercept halfway to the right, tangent is 1, and halfway to the left, tangent is negative 1. The next characteristic of the tangent function is that the tangent function is an odd function. Odd functions are symmetric about the origin and this means that the tangent of negative x equals negative tangent of x. For example, we know that tangent of pi over 4 equals 1, but tangent of negative pi over 4 equals negative 1. Then we can say that tangent of negative pi over 4 equals negative tangent of positive pi over 4. Again, tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. Tangent of positive pi over 4 is positive 1, but with the negative in front will also be negative 1. 
And now the last property, the tangent function is an increasing function on every interval between two consecutive asymptotes. So if we pick two consecutive asymptotes, then on this interval, from left to right, the graph goes up. This is all for the basic tangent function. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.